swag of a prize fighter. The antithesis of a firefighter. Arsonist, I'm a fire rider. Instant flame like a fire lighter. So special with shows, I live out my flows. Can't walk in my shoes, can't purchase my clothes. Ice in my veins, but I never froze. Picture perfect, but I never pose. As a juvenile, I know I bounce back. Got rated, had a plan to get my ounce back. You cheese as bait, that's a mouse trap. Let me to the right person to pounce at. They selling dreams, I'm pulling receipts. Full force, we can't be beat. Got a dirty mouth, but the flow so neat. Keep your two cents, talk is cheap. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros are comments made by former heavyweight champion of the world, Andy Ruiz, the first heavyweight champion of the world of Mexican descent, Andy Ruiz. He's saying he thinks that Ryan Garcia gave up in the fight. Let's take a listen to what Andy Ruiz had to say, and then we'll, we'll hear from Ryan Garcia, and then we'll throw the floor to the panel. So all right, let's listen to what Andy Ruiz said about Ryan Garcia. Man, Javante did what he had to do, man. He won the fight, but I was going for Ryan, but he gave up, man. I feel like he gave up. I feel like he should have did what he had to do to to win the fight. When we get down, we got to get back up, man. We got to ask for God for that victory. When we get knocked down, we got to ask for God for that victory. But I feel like he, that's what he should have done. I still feel Ryan should have done more, man. He should have done more. He should have... Risk his life more. He should have risked his life more. Man, Javante. <laughs> That's what my man. Risk life more. I'm like, bro, get some water. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, leave my English is second language, dog. Yo, leave my man in the That alone, was, had nothing to do with English. That had everything to do with alcohol. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cerveza. Definitely was slurring. <laughs> <yeah. Hot tea. laughs> Cut her on up. All right, listen. All right, we, we go into um, what Ryan had to say after, immediately after the fight. This is what Ryan had to say. Guys, uh, obviously, I'm disappointed after the fight. Uh, tried my best. Uh, he caught, caught me with a good body shot. Uh, come back stronger. And, uh, yeah, man, hopefully one day, to rack up a couple wins, we could do a rematch uh, at maybe 140 or 147. But uh, thank you guys for all the support. Love you guys. That's what Ryan had to say. Now I'm turning it over to Ned the TBE. What's your reaction to Andy Ruiz and what he had to say to Ryan Garcia? You're on mute. You're on mute, dude. You're still on mute. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> You know, they gave up on the segment. Cause I I, 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 the mute button took my took everything from me, man. Sorry about that. But I, uh, I hate repeating jokes. But Andy was like, "Arriba, abajo, centro, intro." Too many times, and you heard it when he was speaking. He was like slurring all over his words, and I feel him. I do feel him though. But Andy is a a, a he's the he's the Guy who could speak from getting knocked down, and getting back up. He got knocked down a couple of times, plenty of times, and he got back up. He got some W. He got and he got he's got some W's from that. So I feel his advice to Ryan is like you have to fight for it if you really want it. And then right there in that moment where he got Ryan got knocked down, he showed he didn't have no more left in him to get back up. A punch that landed is that. A pu the punch, the, the impact of the punch looked like it took like ten seconds to show like it affected Ryan. And you could you had time to get back up to real like like get yourself back together, but Ryan was like, I can't continue. So, you know, I agree with Andy Ruiz. I'm not gonna knock it. So, Ryan, if you get knocked down, get back up just like Luke Campbell did to you. I don't think your career is done, but I think you're gonna lose a lot of followers after this. All right, Spirit G, who doesn't support the zone. Hey, listen, I don't know what Ned talking about, man. I'm gonna be honest. Andy Ruiz has the nerve to even talk about Ryan Garcia's performance. This is the same Andy Ruiz who was the heavyweight champion. Gee, oh, on his first title up. defense. Hold on, let me just finish. Yo, let, him, let him cook for a little yeah, bit at least. Yeah. On his first title defense, my man came in fatter than the first time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, we can't fatter than last time. Yeah, geez. we can't, we can't, we can't just forget that. You know, like. I remember because, you know, I was rooting for Andy. I'm like, yo, Andy's going to, like, destroy this It was dude. a big boy summer. Yeah, you man. It was so bad. 
you know me, I view myself like a plus size model. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when I see him, I said, nah, bro, we got to go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he wasn't right. He wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it was crazy. So I'm like, this guy has the nerve. Then on top of that, <laughs> he had the nerve to get in the ring with Chris Ariola. Y'all, I swear, I'm not even making this up. To this day, I still believe Chris Ariola beat this dude. You know what I mean? I remember at the end, Chris Ariola was crying because he felt like they robbed him. And I'm like, that's a fact. And when he, against, what's his name? King Kong Ortiz. Yeah, Ruiz dropped him two times, but every other round he lost. This dude is trash, son. Like, he has the nerve, <laughs> the nerve to fix his lips and, and critique Ryan Garcia. Like, come on, man. Like, I can understand he was anybody else. But this guy, yo, come on, Andy, yo. I, I, I'm chopping it up to the alcohol. You know what I mean? Like, I got to just blame the L. That's why he was talking foolishly. He was slurring. You know what I mean? Like, this guy can, yo, this dude literally was talking about, yo, he be eating Snickers during training camp. But he has the nerve to fix his lips to talk about Ryan Garcia gave up. You know what I'm saying? Like, In all fairness, they promote Snickers to stop and hunger. So, man, yo, man, quit the cap, yo. Quit the cap. <laughs> this dude should be ashamed of himself. Don't disrespect Ryan. If anything, she'd be like, yo, Ryan, man, yo, good job, brother. You did good. You know what I mean? Keep your head up. Whatever. Say something positive, you know, because when you ran the world, when you was on top of the world, all you had to do, you already beat AJ. All you had to do is just defend again. You that dude. You didn't train it at all. Yeah, your trainer was like, yo, you was MIA. You came back even bigger. Yo, it was it was just reckless, man. You let the fame get to you. Out of nowhere, you went from being Mexican-American to full-blooded Mexican. You came <laughs> he, Yo, I remember he came out to, to um, uh, uh, what's his homeboy name? Uh, R.I.P. Um, uh, Nipsey. Nipsey Hustle. Then next, you know, coming out to bon uh, the banjo music. I'm like, yo, what is this? Yo, this whole facade, it's all fake, bro. Like, yo, if I was Ryan, I'd be like, the damn, the nerve of this Mexican whale, bro. There's no way I'm listening to this dude. Like, this is mad disrespectful. Now you're crazy. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I agree with you. You're wrong on this it's one. Disrespectful. But I, I just wanted to add this when he was adding all the like the flaws. You forgot he was eating pizza and wings before he had to fly out to um, outside. Um, that's what I'm saying. They still got the nerve to talk about somebody who who, who made weight. Right. And he ain't never had to make weight. Yo, know? <laughs> 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 it's certain, yo, it's no, nah, I'm being honest. Certain dudes just aren't qualified to talk. You're not qualified for this conversation, man. It's just crazy. I can understand if you know what I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me see, like, if, he if let let's say, like, down, uh, man. he let G down. Nah, son, nah, this is so. It ain't right, man. It's like certain dudes just don't bring them out. You know, it's like, I don't know, there's certain guys now, you should just be quiet. Dillian's one of them. Dillian, you shut your mouth. Andy Ruiz, you shut your mouth. There's certain guys like, stop talking. You know, like, what you've done to this sport is a disgrace. You should just stop talking. You know, like, I don't know, man. Andy, shame on you, bro. Like, Ryan, don't listen to this guy. Just, oh, my goodness, man. Get him some water. Yo, G was ready to put Andy Ruiz on the Mount Rushmore of the big boys. Right. Yeah, right next to Biggie. <laughs> and yeah, he almost did it. Like Andy, Andy Andy was little a, back. He would have been right next to Pun, you know what I'm saying? Was, you uh, had Biggie, uh, Pun, Ross, and then you were going to have <laughs> Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. he, he messed that up, you know what I mean? Mm. Look, I feel... Yo, I feel where you're coming from, G, but I have to disagree only for this reason. He wasn't talking about making weight. He wasn't talking about showing up and, and being prepared to defend. He was simply talking about getting back up and continuing to fight after you've been knocked down. And I feel like he's an expert at that. Like, that's how he beat AJ. He had to do it against Chris Ariola. Like, if there's anyone who can speak about getting knocked down and having to get back up and winning the fight, it's Andy Ruiz. Hell, if Tyson Fury even said it, you gotta you gotta listen to him. Like he's not he's not critiquing Ryan based on something he's never done before. And 
Ryan always runs around saying, I got to thank God. I got to thank God. And Amy Ruiz is someone who runs around saying, like, you know, I give glory to God for my victories. So what it sounded like he was he was big brother in Ryan to me. What he was saying was like, yo, as a man of faith, you got to get up and put it in God's hands. And I think what he was saying was like, that's what I did against AJ. That's what I did against Andy. I mean, that's what I did against uh, Chris Ariola. Yeah, like when I got knocked down, I was hurt, but I got up and I put it in God's hands and I got the victory. And I, I think that's what he was saying. Like, he, I think he was saying Ryan quit prematurely because he felt like if it was Andy in that ring, Andy would have been like, okay, now it's time for me to get up and answer the call and, and put it in God's hands. And so that's what I think he was saying. Like, I, I know how it came off, but I don't think he was trying to, like, bury Ryan or critique or critique Ryan um, negatively. I think what he was saying was, like, as so as like, and he said it like, and I was rooting for uh, Ryan, like as someone who was rooting for Ryan, as someone who was backing Ryan. And you already know Mexican style, dog. Mexican style is like, yo, go out in a casket. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like right. that's Mexican style. Yo, I saw Wilder at an event. It was a fight. It was like, you know, Wilder. He likes going to the fights. Mm -hmm. He went to a fight. He was surrounded by a bunch of a bunch of Mexicans, yo. You would have thought they were surrounded by a god. They loved Wilder, bro. I bet you those were the same dudes who hated Wilder, like in 2015. But ever since Wilder went out on his shield, they were like, yo, the Mexicans was all taking pictures with him. They loved Wilder. You know what I'm saying? They were like, yo, but nah, they, yo, that's what they respect. Like when Wild, like when Wild, but when Wilder went out like that, like you know, I be joking. I say like, yo, Wilder's good at taking a beat, and I'm just joking. Like the reality was he won over so many people because the way he went out is like, yo, warrior, like that's what you asked. Like that's Mexican style. That's what people who love the sport do. Like only people who love the sport go out like that. So when he went out like that, right, that's when people love Wilder. Remember, I always point this dude out. Um, Ivan Redcatch, when he knew he was going to get knocked out by Regis Prograde, he did that stupid, terrible, horrible stuff to, to get out of the fight. <laughs> then there's um, Daniel Dubois, who had his, his, his orbital bone broken. He stayed down, and Billy Joe Saunders talked smack about, smack about him. Then fast forward, he finds himself in the same situation. He stays in the corner. Remember, um, there's no relation. Hector Garcia, who fought Tank before Ryan did, he stayed in his corner claiming he couldn't see. And then Ryan stayed on the floor. I honestly believe these dudes knew – they were going to get knocked out. Exactly. They knew that answering the bell or getting back up and continuing to fight meant they would go to sleep. But they never had the heart to answer the bell. They didn't have the heart to answer that call. So that's why they stayed down. If you ask me what I believe personally, now I didn't take the body shot. And for, for those, I've, t I, I've, I've been an amateur and I sparred. And one of the most devastating punches I ever received was a punch to the body. And I didn't fall. I tried to move and I couldn't even feel my legs. And right before I was about to fall, I regained feeling in my legs and I was able to move again. And I'm the only one who really knows that that happened to me. So I know what the, what, what a body shot can do. Like even Ryan, Ryan tried to stay up, Right. He tried to stay up, and then there was a delayed reaction when he went down. But the thing was, he never tried to get back up. And I believe he wasn't eager to get back up because, like you said, G, even when you said it, he knew he could go out like Roly. Mm -hmm. But at least Roly went out trying to win, dog. Like, yo, that's the difference. That's why when Roly walks around, nobody clowns Roly. Roly gets a hero's welcome everywhere he goes. Everyone's like, yo, Roly. Picture with Roly. Everybody loves Roly because everybody knows Roly went in there to do what he had to do. He got knocked out. But that's but but Ryan, he's always going to be like, yo, what if I got up? It's always going to bother him. What if I got up? He could have, he could have been Andy Ruiz. What if Tank would have rushed him? And then he that would have been his moment to land his check left hook. Right? We'll never know because he never got up. And that's what Andy Ruiz is saying to him, like, yo, bro, in that moment, you got to trust your preparation. You got to put. You, your faith was to the test. You believe in God. Get up. Let God guide you. Like, that's what Andy was saying. 
That's how I Hold took on. Let me correct you. So how about this? So you telling me God couldn't guide Andy Ruiz to a meal plan? Mm. Yo. <laughs> Go ahead, TV. Go ahead. Yo, yo. Yeah, I, I don't want to get off top, but this shows she's loyalty right here. What she went from complimenting Andy Ruiz's legs to saying he ain't never been with in his life. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I get it back to this. Yo, G, I, I give you that there are points to be made about Andy Reeves. There's also other things going on in his life that he, he needs to be worried about involving uh, his ex and allegations she's making against him. But that's not what I'm critiquing right now. I'm, I'm focusing on what he said and what he's known for. He's most he's most known for getting off the deck and pulling off one of the biggest upsets in boxing history, right? Which is what Ryan Garcia was trying to do. So I like you know when you're trying to accomplish something, you listen to people who've been in similar position or people who held the position you want, or people who can give you guidance to that path. And I think what the knowledge he was trying to pass on to Ryan was: if you could get up, get up. And let the outcome be in God's hands. If you're a man of faith. Like that's what it sounds like he was saying to me. I get all your beefs with Andy. I'm not saying they're legitimate. But in this particular instance. I just think he was trying to pass some knowledge on to Ryan. Because he feels like Ryan quit on himself too early. And if anyone can say that. In my opinion. It's Andy Ruiz. That's all I'm saying. Yeah but. Hold on. Do they have the same trainer? Is Goose they, used to, they used to both train with Eddie Reynoso. Eddie Reynoso, right? But so what was it uh Andy with now? Um he's not with he 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 from PBC. He's he's a free agent. Um, no, 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 he's training him. Right right but like I, I was like, if it was Andy Robles to go with um Eddie Reynoso, then he left Eddie Reynoso. Oh, wait, right. Right. It wasn't Goosen because Goosen was uh Chris Ariola's trainer. Yeah, because I, yeah, I was gonna say, like, yo, you he, he didn't have to go public with all of this, you know what I mean? Like Hey, I, I'll say this. I see where you're coming from, Kate, and I really do. My only issue, though, is this is why I'm saying he's not qualified. It's only because the guys in the lighter weight classes, like, and I know we're probably going to go into it in the next segment with the rehydration clause, but Andy doesn't have to deal with that. I think that's that's another factor, like, you know, to be, like, fatigued going into a fight. You know, that matters, you know, like Andy goes in there with a full stomach going into a fight. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, he could get up. He got the power. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, son. Like, it's just different. I ain't even trying to be disrespectful. I'm just being honest. Like, I wouldn't listen to, to, to Andy if I was Ryan in this situation. I like to me, let it be somebody in a lighter class that has to go about through. dieting. You want to listen to Andy about dieting, but you want to listen to Andy about getting up off the deck, believing in yourself that you in can this win a fight. Not in this situation. I feel like in this situation, like a body shot to a guy that literally had to do everything in his power to make weight and couldn't rehydrate to his natural walking weight to fight Tank, it's a little different. So that's why I'm like, listening to Andy, I'm like, bro, I don't think you've ever had a six-pack before in your life. You should watch your mouth. That's all I was saying. It's First like all, everybody has a six pack under the under the fat. Under the dude. pack is a six pack, except for Andy Ruiz. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> under the fat is just more fat. You know what I mean? Like, come on, son. Like, look at you. Look at like Tyson Fury. <laughs> Tyson Fury, you can see like under the fat, he kind of got a six pack. Andy Ruiz, you've never seen that, bro. Never seen that. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, Andy, dog. Come on, son. This is this little kid. I, he, Ryan's not even a little kid, but in comparison to a guy that's walking around almost 300 pounds, Ryan's like in, at the fight where he was like 145 during that fight. You you can't, you're not qualified to speak about what this kid going through, man, outside of both of y'all professional boxers. But this kid had to drain himself to even make that weight and to stay drained just to fight. You've never had to experience that. You go into the ring with a Snickers bar in your mouth. That's crazy. That's all I'm saying, man. It's just I don't know, man. I go ahead, man. <laughs> okay. Yo, you saying this is crazy, bro? Like it's wild. 
You was once an Andy Ruiz fan, though. That's no, why. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Man, about, no, he let G no, down, no, man. He let G down. No, 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 listen. Yo, G, I you see, it's not even you criticizing any reason where he said it's just you just coming at his lifestyle, man. I know uh, Andy Ruiz let you it's, down. It's all encompassing. I know he let you down. Nah, nah, he, he, he not getting yo, it. Fat boy season ain't been back in style in a while. Nah, nah, nah. Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's all encompassing, right? To yo, to be a professional <laughs> fighter, right? It, it's not just what you do in the ring, it's also what you do outside the ring, you know. If Andy's chilling outside the ring, and yeah, sure, like, oh, he always gets back up, but he don't run. You know what I mean? Like, when he was fighting AJ, yo, AJ's doing circles, lapping him around, just jabbing him up. He just flat-footed. I'm like, come on, so you didn't anticipate this when you was training? Oh, I forgot yeah, he was yeah. training. He was MIA. Yeah, he was partying, chilling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then he has to come out. Yeah, that was my shit, Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me get in here, TBD, real quick. You know what? <laughs> G, nobody's qualified. You know why? Because Andy Ruiz is the first heavyweight champion of Mexican descent. Okay? So that comes with a whole list of expectations that no one else could even fathom or even no. understand the temptation to be Andy Ruiz to be Andy Ruiz in Mexico and just walk in a pub and free drinks are getting thrown at you. Everywhere you go, people handing you stuff. You know, people throwing stuff at you. What you want Andy to do? He never had all that thrown in his face. Okay, G? So you're not taking that into account. And no one's qualified to talk about Andy because Andy is the first one to make history for his country. Okay? And Ryan wasn't going to do that. Man, this is black. <laughs> I, I'm not supporting none of this foolishness, man. What up? You a wild boy, man. You can't <laughs> man. You came on here. You came on here with. with no, with, I'm really the wild boy. Y'all, y'all, listen. Came, you guys. came on here armed, armed and dangerous, yo. It's crazy. Wow, man. yo, Ned. Oh, no, all jokes aside, Ned. You really think what I'm saying is wild? Yes. Wow, <laughs> yeah. no, from no. you, from how you supported the man. If I, I never supported any reason, if I was to talk like this, cool. But I'm not. I, I never talk like that. I'm just saying, I, yo. G and Complex was so arrogant going into yes. that, <laughs> into that, to the rematch yes. with uh, Ruiz. You should have seen him. That was yes, oh yes, God. yes. Yo, when it, yo, when you know, AJ got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. yes. Oh, my, when, so it, whoa, so when Ruiz knocked out AJ. First of all, it was like a big boy reunion across uh, the, <laughs> across the world, everywhere. It was like everybody cancel your gym memberships. She's walking around. She's walking around looking at all of us like, yeah, big boy style. You know what I'm saying? We in style. We back in style, baby. We back in style. He's walking around. He ain't cuffed your shorties. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, she's like, yo, no need to do no crunches and no ab work. You know? And so going in, going into the to the rematch. You, if you look at it, when they went to Mayweather's gym and they gave their predictions, everyone's picking Andy. You know, G and Complex, it was like they wouldn't even entertain the possibility that AJ could win. These they were so arrogant, condescending, and just like kind of. That's why, if you remember, Ned made that video. <laughs> that was, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. Give me a second. I'm looking for it. Yo, I'm yo, looking yo, for yo, it. Yo, 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 I'm looking for it. Yo, looking for it. You will violate AJ. AJ finish after this fight. Like yo, G. Like you do realize this man was a twenty to one underdog at one point. Yeah, your man AJ's fool. Blah blah blah. You know how G is. Go 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 back and, and review the tapes. So all I'm saying is like to hear G now go in on Andy Ruiz, it is kind of funny. I gotta find this clip. I really gotta find this clip. Oh, the universe don't want you to play. We gotta play it on this segment. G, you gonna look crazy right now because you're talking about Andy. It's already wow. up here. All they gotta do is go to the old video. You right. We do gotta we do gotta wrap this up. Yeah, we gotta wrap this up now. So, Relax. For me, Ryan, Ryan did. I don't want to say he quit. He did get hit with a shot. So it wasn't like Ivan Red catch. But I think he resigned to the fact that if he got up, he was going to go right back down anyway. And he wanted, he wanted no parts of that. Right, and then it seems like you're giddy about.
<laughs> it, it is what it is, yo. yo. Oh my god. Y'all just got to witness behind the scenes stuff that doesn't get aired on <laughs> I, know. I, I know that was a little that was a little little, little inappropriate, but you know we <laughs> showed that net, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, yeah, funny, you you want it was it was, it was, it was G, G, yo. It is it is a show I, I on there. I need G. a moment. Yo, I need, I swear to God, I need a moment. I'm about to like cry myself, yo. I swear. Yo, I don't know if you remember G. You were like, why does Ned not realize he's a part of the big boys? <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's a fact. I'm like, oh, Ned, what? Ned. Oh yeah, just our team AJ. Our team AJ. I was team AJ. But when that was like, yo, big boys back in style. When that was like, yo, put on your Nike. Like, you're going on a run. I'm like, you're gonna be running right next to me. Today. No, no, <laughs> I ain't rep Fat Boy Jeezy, so I, it's not me. You was repping Fat Boy Jeezy, yo. Oh, oh I, I need a moment, y'all, because it's like, all right, we um, have, we have to, we have to get to the next segment, man. Listen. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Remember, you can listen to our podcast on all major streaming services. This next segment, I think we're going into the rehydration clause, so make sure you come back and kick it with us. We are the Boxing Bros. Go Fungi.